Hi, today we're going to look at my garden and see what there are possibilities of things that would be interesting to paint that are in nature. Let's start out by going to the cucumber patch. What do we see here? Oh, look at the nice leaves. And look at the way the sun reflects off them. Some are darker, some are lighter. See all the lights and darks in there? Let's see if we can find a cucumber in here. Can we find a cucumber? Hmm. Oh, and there's a cucumber. Can you see it? Right there. Okay, and so we could pick a cucumber. We could paint that with some leaves and all the Maybe actually sit out here so we can get all those reflections of the light and the dark. What else do we have here? Oh, we have a cucumber flower. That's interesting. Also, notice how the stems are all like, got all these little pickers coming off them. Okay, let's move down to the nasturgiums. I like nasturgiums. Look at that nasturgeon leaf. It's pretty nice. And take a look at that. The dew from the morning. How the water droplets are standing out. There's a little fly also on that little bug. I think he disappeared now. Let's take a look at those nasturgeons. Flowers. Look at that one. As you see, I take some pictures of them, I bring them in, and then I put them on the computer and blow them up. Get a closer look at all these insides. Oh, we have a marigold there. Let's check this nasturgeon out. Hmm, look at that. Isn't that interesting? Notice how the folds of the flower fall on the edges. What else do we have here? Well, I don't think we want to take on summer squash leaves. Well, we could, but we'd have to definitely pick some small ones. Like that. And we could see if we can find a... Oh, we got a little teeny weeny squash right in there. Let's see if I can move this. We can paint that squash. Notice these leaves. How the sun's hitting on them. You want to notice all these little details about how the sun hits on things, how the leaves curve. When you sit down and you paint, you want to make sure you apply all those things. We have another nasturgeon flower. Look at that one. See how the sun's shining on it and the leaf beside it? That is really interesting. That would like make a really great picture, wouldn't it? I like that. That would be a nice painting. What else do we have here? We have peppers. See the pepper? How do those leaves, see how that leaf curve? Curves. You want to pay attention to all that detail. Because you're going to want to make your leaves curve like that. Make them look real and interesting. Even if you want to make them that they don't look real, you can still play with them. Gives you some ideas. Look at that marigold. Look at the colors in that. Boy, that would be really fun to play with, wouldn't it? What else do we have in this garden? Oh, well, we have carrots, too. We can see if we can see some of those carrots underneath. Oh, here's, here's some. You can see the carrots coming up. You could pick a carrot, and you could paint the carrot. And look at, take some little stems, leaves with them. Look at those little leaves. How about tomatoes? We have some tomatoes that are not ripe. 
There's some that are green, some that are part green and part orange. Oh, we have some other marigolds here. Look at these. And look at, see how they look? Look at how you can see the sun hitting on certain places on the flowers. You want to make sure you incorporate that into your painting. What about the leaves? Let's look at the leaves. They have interesting leaves. Notice how different tomato plants are different types of tomatoes have different types of leaves. Make sure you want to write the make the right leaves with the right plants. Oh, look at that. There's a nice orange one if you like orange. See? You can also put it with it. Little add in your painting. Right there a little bud. And let's look a little closer at our these are our leaves from our green peppers. So I hope I've given you some ideas today and some things that you could go out in your own garden, see if you have, you could paint outside so you can get all those nice light reflections. Study all the leaves, all the lights and darks, all the shapes, and make sure that you put them in your painting today if we can work our way around. We have strawberry patches here. We'll have to look at those in the spring. So today, let's take a look of the garden. We got two good sized gardens and we can come up with all kinds of possibilities in those. Okay, all right, get started. See if you can find something cool to paint and some sun hitting on them and see how it changes everything, all the colors. Okay, see you soon.